A single mother working full time and attending school comes home to a nightmare. Her home is in ruins, destroyed by a man police say is an extremely violent criminal. Denver 7's Addie Guajardo sat down with the young mom, now trying to get back on her feet. It's a sight that rocked Tanya Ovalle. I was just shocked. When she saw... He lit the bathroom on fire. And smelled the damage. It just reeked like smoke. Less than four months ago, this mother and her two-year-old son moved into their first apartment. I get sad. I mean, that was my house. The terror unfolded at the apartments on 17th and Kendall in Lakewood last Wednesday. When police evacuated the complex as they searched for Joseph Jacob Medina. I told him I was in 613. He's like, yeah, you're not going in there. A man police described as extremely violent broke through apartment walls at the complex. This is where he came through. And barricaded himself to avoid arrest and the process trashing Ovalle's home. The ceilings were all ripped up. The floors were wet. There was just like black dust everywhere because of the smoke. All she could salvage. Yeah, this is just the clothes that I got from the apartment. And some of her own. It's a lot. Um, especially for a single mom. Forcing her to move back into her parents' home. So I just had to sleep on the couch. The full-time mother, employee, and part-time student says she was just starting her first steps toward independence. Now, she's fighting to stay positive. I'm just grateful that my son and I weren't there. But admits she needs help. Housing, just getting all my furniture back. Ovaya didn't have renter's insurance leaving her with little to nothing. But she's determined to get back on her feet. She just can't imagine going back here. I wouldn't feel safe. And tonight you can help with a donation to Contact 7. Just head over to the denverchannel.com and under the drop down menu, click Help Tanya. 100% of the proceeds will help those in need in our community. In the studio, Eddie Guajardo, Denver 7.